I need fish. All right, what's going on guys? Windy City Bassin here. Today we are out, we're fishing at a creek. That's right, this is my first creek fishing adventure of the year. And I'm, I'm here basically because the largemouth bite at the ponds is poor, for lack of better words. It, it's actually atrocious. Um, we may go back, we may fish some more ponds today, but right now we're at the creeks and we're, we're fishing for whatever we can catch. I'd love to catch my first smallmouth of the year. I know there's creek chub, I know there's some largemouth, there's bluegill. We're gonna be fishing with a little inline spinner and a little Ned rig. And I think we're gonna have to shrink that presentation down big time today to get bit. So follow me along. Let's see if we can catch anything today. And hopefully we can because really I, I need my first creek fish of the year and I really would love my first smallmouth. Follow me along, let's, let's see what we can catch. Unfortunately, I don't have the spinners that I thought I had. I don't have them with me, and I don't know why. This is a much heavier spinner. It's got a silver blade versus gold, which... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, there goes that. That was fast. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. I knocked the eye out of this little guide here. This is wonderful. Lost the spinner, three casts in. Oh, got mud on my hand now. That's always good too. Oh, I'm snagged. No way. Is this a fish? What do I have? No, this is not a fish. What is this? It's a freaking rock or something. I, I caught a rock. That's, that's, that's new. It's a nice rock. It's a pretty good weight to that one. All right. Goal is, oh, that's a bite. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. That was a 100% a bite. Like right there. Oh, picked it up and put it down. Ooh, man, what is it? Are they little minnows? They might be little minnows. Ooh, right here, right beneath me. Something bit. Oh, that was a fish. I got one. What is this? Hey, catching creek chub. Hey guys, I actually caught something. I actually got this little creek chub here. It's pretty cool. I don't catch many of those. It's pretty colors. Got them on that little Ned rig. I knew something small was biting. And there he is. Little guy, but my first creek fish of the year. All right, my first creek fish of the year. Let's let him go. Hey, it's a fish. That is all I care about. Would I have preferred a smallmouth? Sure. Was he slimy? Yes. But did I just catch fish? Yes, I did. Something just came in. Okay, all right, I gotta, I gotta shrink this. Take a little bit of this tail off here. These fish are, they're there. I'm getting bit. All right, I took another half inch or so off the tail. See if that makes a difference here. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Got another one. How about that? We're catching creek chubs. Yeah, look at the color on this. I mean, I've never paid attention. I mean, they got small little mouths. Oh, but sorry, but he's back in. All right, so shrinking it down even further helped. All right, so we got two fish. That's not too bad. Two creek chub, which is unusual. I don't think I've ever caught two creek chub in any one day, uh, but we're fishing skinny waters, fishing early in the year, and we're fishing tiny little baits, so you never know what you're gonna catch out in a creek. That's what's so cool about it. That's the deepest spot over in this stretch, so I'm not super confident that we're gonna find many more after that. I don't know, we might go back to some ponds, do some largey fishing, I, I don't know. There's no plan, there's no rhyme or reason. We just are trying to catch fish. That's the way it should be. Check it. All right guys, we gave up on, dog, come on. We gave up on the creeks. So we're fishing a couple ponds. Let's see what we can catch. 
Oh, I do see. I see a ton of bluegill. Tons of bluegill. Some big bluegill, too. Let's toss one out there in the middle. Oh, maybe we can... I got one. I got one. It's a little guy. But hey, it's a fish. All right, guys. So there we go. It's a little bass on the jerkbait. First cast out into the middle of the lake, and we got one. There we go. Let's let him go. Okay, how about that? You know what? That's a fish. There are some bigger fish in here. I know there are. So maybe we'll end the day here. Oh gosh, I got hit, I got hit, I got hit. Okay. I got hit. So there's a bunch of grass out there. I think that's what these fish are hanging out in. And I got hit on the paws, so that's telling. That means these fish are still feeling a little... Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I don't even know what just happened. Somehow I broke off. That's what happens when you're fishing light line, is you gotta check it often. I have not been. Yes, yeah, so I didn't break it to not. It had, oh gosh, it's actually way up. It's got about a foot and a half. That's pretty crazy. So we're just gonna keep working our way down here. Just trying different stretches. You know, I'm under the assumption these fish are out in the middle, so. I got one. I have to have one. I got him. He's way out there. There we go. There's another one. Nothing big. Man, I can't seem to hook into many big fish this spring, but I'll take it. Any fish I can catch. Sweet. Oh, another one on Division 110. He also hit it on the paws, so I think we're putting together something here. I bombed that one way out there. There we go, there's another one. This one's a little bigger. Maybe not. Man, cookie cutter bass today. Where's the mamas? Nice little fish. That's two right here in the middle. On the paws. I'm just feeling a pressure on the line and kind of reeling into them. You don't need to set the hook. You're reeling into these fish. I do think there's like a certain distance out there that they all seem to be hitting it. Nothing's near this bank. Everything is way out there. Oh, okay, that was a fish. That was kind of me being a doofus. I did not feel him at the beginning. I think I'm moving. You guys are probably really sick of jerk rate fishing, but if it works, I'm gonna use it. There we go, I got one. I got one. Ooh, you're mean. Jeez. Dude, you put a hook in me, I will mur Dude, you better recognize. Can I long arm him? Yeah, long arm him? Look at how big that is. Wow. That one had a temper. That one I did not feel at all until I started started moving the bait again. 
There was just something on the end of the line. It just felt like mush. Kind of like you just reeled into a bunch of grass. All these fish, though, are in the same area. They are on the other side of the lake. I'm casting straight across, and they are all biting within the first 10 feet of the, where the bait lands. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. Little guy again. Where are your parents? Seriously, this might be the smallest one yet. All right, here goes another one. This fish is equilibrium is messed up or something. We got two basically in the same spot. So it always makes me assume that. Oh no! Oh my God! I just lost it again. It's on the other side. Okay, I gotta go get it. That's a $25 lure. Oh, I was just thinking, I need to retalk it. And yet, I took one more cast. Stupidly, the chances of me finding this lure are probably about zero. But I gotta go look. Oh, now where would it be? I see it. Holy cow, I see it. I got it. Ooh. It's another one that broke well up the leader. I got one, two, man, I have a lot of line. I have probably about four foot of line. That's where it broke. I'm starting to wonder if I've got a nick in that guide. I don't see anything with the guide, but it could be very small. I think I'm going to need some new fluoro very soon because it just doesn't seem like this stuff is very durable anymore, I guess. There's one. First guess is once I get it tied back on. And I found the bait and the pond that seems to have some fish that are biting. Too bad they're all <laughs> a half a pound. I don't even know what the biggest fish I've caught today is. It sure ain't big. another one I got another one this one feels even smaller what do I oh I have a big bluegill holy cow okay guys I have to show you this I just caught this slab oh my gosh if I could grab him slab gill slab gill on the jerk bait holy cow I don't think I've ever ever had anything like that happen before that is a big big bluegill on a jerk bait that's the first blue I've ever caught in jerk bait. All right, we'll let him go. <laughs> That's huge. That's craziness. The whole time I'm reeling in, I'm like, man, this is the smallest fish of the day. Ooh, I just got popped right here. That's the first time I got hit on this side of the lake. It wasn't a soft bite, he hit it hard. Could have been another bluegill. I think there's some bluegill swirling right outside this rock formation here. We've gone like a total of like four casts without catching a fish, so it's about time to move. So again, just like before, we moved down 20 or 30 feet, and we're just gonna cast it out. Cast it out. Just cast it. Give it a cast, cast a roo. Anyone know what movie that is? I'm gonna like your comment if you know what movie that is. They didn't say exactly those words, but if you like 90s comedies, you should know what that is. Oh, I had a bite. It's funny, I literally had a bite right away. There we go. Came off. It's all right. It's frustrating as that fish felt like the biggest one of the day. Might not have been, and I'm not saying it was big by any means, but it felt like at least the biggest of the day. And by biggest of the day, I mean maybe like a pound and a quarter. 
There is a giant gill right here that is dying. Scales are all messed up. It's definitely dying. Dang it. I missed one. Shoot. Check it. Another one, all cookie cutter. Still having fun though. I know there are bigger fish in here. I've caught bigger fish in here, so I know there are bigger ones. Caught a lot of small ones, but I know that there are bigger ones. It's interesting, there's a sign over here. It says danger deep water. I really never noticed that before. Not sure where the deep water they're referring to is, but I don't think this lake gets more than five or six feet deep. Well, I think we're gonna start moving on. We're gonna get to the other side and we're gonna fish that much faster because we gotta get going. We still have one more errand to run. You know, I love that sign. It's a great sign. It says, no swimming, no boating. Good luck fishing, catch and release only. That's what the sign says. It's so refreshing today where I go to so many lakes and no fishing, no fishing, no fishing. To actually go to a lake that says good luck fishing, the sign actually says good luck fishing, that's awesome. Kudos to you, town of You've got your together. Man, I've yet to catch a fish this spring on a chatterbait. That's so weird. Last year, that was my go-to bait. All right, we're gonna stop right here. And that how wind is howling now. <laughs> okay, I got one. First cast on the other side. I don't think it's very big. This might actually be one of the bigger ones of the day. And that's kind of sad. So I changed up. I'm fishing the same water coming from the other direction. And we got one already. First cast on this side. Not a big fish. All right, gonna keep moving. I'm not spending much time on one spot. We've got a ton of fish today. 10 fish for five pounds, pretty much. Oh man, my hands smell like fish. I smell like bass. It's such a good smell. Any non-fishermen are watching this, you don't know what I'm talking about. The fishermen know what I'm talking about. Fisherwomen, fishermen. Fisher people. There we go. Oh no. Oh gosh, that was a big fish. That was a good one. That was the fish I've been waiting for this whole time. Dang it. That sucks. Holy cow, this wind is cuckoo. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the day of fishing, but we're here picking up something important. There she is. That's right, that's right, we're picking up the boat. <sighs> Getting out of storage, shutting this unit down, and we're gonna get out in the water soon. A lot of you guys probably didn't even know I had a boat. So, yes, we got a bass boat. We got a 99 Stratus. And if you guys would like, I've never done one before, but if you want me to do a review of my boat, do like a boat tour, just let me know. Leave a comment below. It's something I thought about doing before. I just haven't done it. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. We put together a pattern today. We found their bite in the jerk bait. We got our first creek fish of the year. We got a bunch of little, little bass on the jerk bait, and we're getting our boat. It's a good day overall. Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Witty City Bassin, signing out.